So as Luke Woods, who is our VP of uh, design mentions, product design at Facebook is integrated into end-to-end -end pro um, product development process. What this means is design is not just playing a part in the product de development cycle. Design is all the way involved in like research to design to like communicating with engineers and also thinking a lot about business perspective as well. So for some companies, like in a design, a design perspective, some companies might have these roles separated. Like there might be interaction designers that are in charge of interaction design. There might be like visual designers that are just taking care of visuals. And there might be like prototypers. Um, so there, or it could be like a separation between like UI and UX as well. But at Facebook, this is one role. So at Facebook, like we do everything. Um, it really depends on the team and the projects that you're working on. I get a lot of questions saying, hey, like I want to apply to Facebook, should I learn Origami? But like Origami is more for mobile prototyping tools, so it might be suitable. It might, you might actually work on or, like prototyping things in Origami if you work on more mobile uh, products. And there's, there's just different tools that you need and different uh, type of design skills that are, that are needed. Um, in different roles, for example, like there's interfaces team, which you might need more like a visual design skill. So there's different things that we look for. So we also have this fourth pillar called product thinking. And basically what this is, is like, is problem solving skills. So like if you go into, if you talk, if you talk about your projects to people, you first talk about like how, what the problem is, how you were able to find out, find that out, who is the target audience. And all those kind of goes into like the jobs to be done, which is like, what is the purpose of your product and what is your ultimate strategy and how are you going to implement it? There's this really good article if you search on Google like product thinking and there's like top result is like um, pro like product thinking um, and you'll be able to read through all these documents. But basically it's thinking of your features and your product in these ways. So when, a lot of the times when you design products, when you're working on projects, when you're students, like, um, like even, in, even in the real world, like you have this problem to solve, but like as you uncover those, there's more things you want to implement. Like, hey, I want to include this feature because you know, some, of, some, of the, some of the user research kind of tell, told that story or like some users actually ex explicitly said that they wanted to, that feature to be included. But ultimately, you want to focus on what this product is designed for, what problem is this ultimately solving, and then try to frame in that way. So design pillars at Facebook consist of three different pillars. So one is content strategy, and then it's product design, and then it's uh, UX research. So content strategy basically um, are the people that come up with content, um, but not just that. So there's a lot of um, strategy and a lot of like um, alignment to be had before you go into design. So you align with content strategy in terms of like, how is this going to function? Like, what is what problem is this solving? So you answer a lot of those questions together. So they're really good partners and they're essential to when you build out your uh, designs. And UX research basically like they, they do a lot of usability studies. They do a lot of ethnography research. They do a lot of upfront research and strategic level research. They try, to f they try to also come up with personas, like who are the right target users for, for our product, and which changes every quarter and every half. So we are all like the capital D team, design. So there's also different uh, roles at Facebook, like you know product management, um, data scientist. There's also engineers, PMM, which is like product marketing managers. There's also like, Based on different teams, based on different orgs, you work with different people. Some people might even work with like the sales org. Some people might work with like quality analysis. So like you have a lot of different counterparts to work with and a lot of meetings to have. Um, and ultimately you are designing a good product for the users, but they all have different expertise in that area. So it's really important to find out who is the right POC for some of the questions that you have. And these are our working environment. As you kind of know, we have open space, so it's easy for designers to collaborate and reach out to other people. 